Basenji, must know facts for the owner. There are some dogs that have survived the test of time and have been helping people for as long as we can remember. Loyalty, athleticism, and a beautiful frame have always been important for dog owners. For thousands of years, the Basenji has been keeping these amazing traits. Hi, welcome to Smart Dog Lover. If you haven't already, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more dog-related content. The Basenji is one of the oldest dog breeds in the world. It's one of the earliest dogs that can be seen on the African continent. Records show that it was a prominent dog breed in ancient Egypt. Statues and stone tablets would depict dogs that looked like the Basenji. They were a part of everyday life, helping farmers, hunters, and royalty alike. Some sources would suggest that they have been with humans even longer. Forrest Bryant Johnson has a picture of the Basenji being depicted in ancient cave drawings in his book, Basenji, Dog from the Past. When ancient Egypt fell, the Basenji didn't. Up until they were discovered by explorers in the 17th century, they could be seen everywhere along the Nile and Congo River. The name Basenji actually comes from a Congo language, which means village dog. It was still popular with many African tribes for their amazing athleticism, keen eyesight, great sense of smell, and hunting instinct. The rest of the world would eventually catch on. Like the pharaohs of ancient Egypt, Europe and America were impressed by this amazing dog breed. By the 1930s, a Boston dog breeder was able to successfully care for a female, a male, and their puppies. Ever since then, they have been living with families in the United States, giving a sense of history in every household. The Basenji can grow up to 17 inches and weigh up to 25 pounds. It's a small dog that is perfect for people who live in apartments, given that they like to exercise. One of its most impressive features is its coat. They have a short and smooth coat that's always colored white with a spot of either red, black, or a mix of all three colors. They don't shed often, so you don't have to worry about cleaning up fur all over your house. The short coat makes it very easy to clean since it doesn't get dirty. You might not even have to give it a bath that often. The Senjis are famous for keeping themselves clean. Like cats, they often lick themselves to get the dirt off their coats. Other breeds might come with an odor, but Basenjis, for some reason, don't have that stinky dog smell. This dog is naturally clean and it shows with how they keep their surroundings. They work hard to keep their coats clean, so they want you to do the same for the house. Basenjis get anxious when they notice their surroundings unkept. True to its hunting nature, the Basenji doesn't mind staying outdoors. While some dogs might get a bit paranoid if they're not allowed to go inside the house, the Basenji feels quite at home in your backyard. Maybe it's reminiscing about its time as a proud hunter in the savanna. This is a breed that thrives being outdoors and loves exercise. If you're looking to own a Basenji, make sure you have enough time during the day to take it out for a walk or better yet, a run. It needs around 40 minutes every day to stay healthy. If you don't take it outside, it might get agitated indoors and would look for any other way to release all that energy. Some outdoor activities you can do with it would be lure coursing, agility courses, and maybe just a simple game of fetch. Interestingly enough, the Basenji doesn't like being outdoors when it's nighttime. They were hunting dogs in the past and would have a lot of activity during the day. But when it's nighttime, they might straight up refuse to go with you. The Basenji is a quiet dog. You won't hear any barking coming from this dog, but it might make small noises or yodel if it's feeling distressed. Don't think that this dog is all that easy. Basenjis are affectionate at loving animals. At worst, they can be fiercely protective of those it considers its family. Make sure to socialize them at a very young age. Bring them to dog parks so that they can be with other dogs or constantly have them play with different people. They're hard to train, sometimes being completely aloof. Dog owners have described them as being a bit cat-like, so expect them to sit around or just stare at you when you're telling them to get off the couch. These dogs would need a very patient owner, but training them isn't impossible. Since they lose interest very quickly, the American Kennel Club suggests keeping sessions to only about 10 minutes a day. Diet-wise, the Basenji doesn't have a specific diet that you should follow. Make sure that all its food, whether commercial dog food or food you prepared at home, is high quality and is filled with nutrients needed to keep a dog energetic. Like any other dog, be aware of its weight or it will get too fat. Aside from that, the dog doesn't carry any health risks. 
make sure to regularly bring it to the vet just in case. The Basenji is an ancient but amazing dog. It's been around for thousands of years and it doesn't look like it's going away anytime soon. If you are looking for an athletic, loyal, affectionate, and well-groomed dog, the Basenji might be the perfect pick for you. Nothing is more beautiful than watching it run across a park with long strides. You can imagine how it would have looked hunting in the savanna with a large pack or hunting with ancient kings. Thank you for watching us at Smart Dog Lover. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more dog-related content.